That's a dog you aren't supposed to be friends. Watch any cartoon, you will always find it. The dog chasing the cat, the dog the big strong one, the cat the small little one. Well, I'm the dog in the story. Big, strong, tough, you know. My little brother's the cat. Sweet, kind, delicate, artistic. And it's crazy because in this story, the dog and the cat are enemies. You know? The dog doesn't hate the cat. The dog loves the cat more than anything. It was July 31st, 1997, after about two years of peaceful living and me getting all the attention, that my mom gave birth to my little brother Christopher. This is the day his huge eyes and big little eyes popped out for the day. This has been me in so many ways. Hacking is one of them. 90% of the time I do with my mom, the imaginary person I'm talking to, is him. It's easy for me because I have so many emotions towards him. No. Look, my one man's all about him. He's influenced me as a person, too. I mean that. I am one of the day in so many ways because of him. The interesting thing is, is that we're nothing alike. I'm like a dog and a cat. I'm a dog. Not a distinct trait. What is this trait? I don't care. That's it. It's ridiculously easy for me to not care about something or about anything. And if you know me, you know it's true. I say, I don't care. So many <laughs> <laughs> really tied into my am as a person. Now let me describe that in a few sentences. Well, let me describe what most people think I am. But you probably think you got to know me for a little bit. I love having fun. I'm lazy. I don't like doing things I don't want to do. I'm not very friendly if I don't know or like you. I like to look thuggish. I'm saying it right now. I like to look in the tub. I love hip hop. I'm kind of an asshole. I love having fun. I know I've said it twice, but I really love having fun. <laughs> but all those traits tie into my own trait, my I don't care trait. And that one trait ties into one thing my baby brother. The complete opposite of me. I'm a dog, remember? Well, he's a cat. He's kind, sweet, delicate, friendly, even if you met him like four seconds ago. <laughs> not thuggish and tough and not in the hip hop. Basically, imagine a kid two years younger than me and the complete opposite. That's my little brother. He's a cat. And he's by far the biggest reason why I'm a dog. I'm this big, tough, macho guy. Why I don't care. You know? Ever since the day he was born, I've loved my brother with all my heart. You know, we've been so close ever since I can remember. We've always been close. You know? I was the first person to make him laugh. He's in all my favorite memories. We never fight. We did this one time. I was about seven, he was about five, and our babysitter left us in the car in a really hot parking lot for a little too long. And I was bored, so I started playing with a candy wrapper and making the fly like a magic carpet like this. That's my candy wrapper. Oh, that's my candy wrapper. No, that's my candy wrapper. So we beat the crap out of each other in the car. <laughs> I'm not controlled for taste. 
And it's fairly detailed, but it was a horrible time for my family. My little brother was suffering, and so I naturally so with my parents. And I was too. And I dealt with that in two ways. And both of these ways were affected when I ended up. I thought, hey, one of my parents' children is going through hell. I'm sure it'd be a lot easier if they didn't have to deal with the other one's problems. And I've seen my little brother suffer broke my heart. But I didn't want my parents to notice, so I expressed that pain outside the house. I started smoking weed, getting into so many fights my parents never knew about, beating kids up, getting in trouble at school, vandalizing shit, getting in trouble with my friends, getting expelled from eighth grade for drinking and stealing. And I never resented Christmas for forgiving way more attention than I did. I knew we needed it, but subconsciously I guess I was something attention to. And damn, getting expelled from school was good for that. <laughs> But I'm not being able to do anything to help my little brother make me angry. And so I express that anger everywhere but at home. That's really where my tough guy trait developed. At home, though, I started smiling all the time and being in a good mood for my parents. And I helped them. And at first I was kind of faking it. I really didn't feel angry and depressed, but I would smile anyway. But then after doing so much, I really started being in a good mood. It's just like pop, and I realized that no matter what, you can always smile and be in a good mood. And in tough situations, it even helps to smile and be positive because you actually start to feel better. And then I started applying that to everything. You know, anything bad or negative would happen, anything I don't like would happen, I wouldn't focus on it and focus on something I like. That's where my I don't care trick came from. If it's anything I don't like or that'll make me less happy, why should I care about it? You don't like how I dress? I don't care. I do. You don't like how I act? I don't care. You don't like me? I really do not care. And I don't care about things like this because I know what happens when you do. I saw people like my brother care about things like that. It makes you less happy. And that's not fun. And I love having fun, remember? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't do things just because other people want me to do them. I don't do things just because I think they'll make other people happy. I don't care enough about people to do that. I do things that make me happy. Call me self -centered? I am. I don't give a damn. Right. And something else my brother did to change my life happened while we were eating graves at a steakhouse. Guys, I have something to tell you. I'm gay. Just like that. And I think he really came to realize that after him and his then girlfriend got a little touchy feeling, he was like, no, oh, mm, I don't like that. <laughs>
She's the biggest inspiration in my life. You know, for the past couple of months since we started this thing started, I promised myself, just like my sister, I would always stick to the one hand. Whether you like it or not, I don't give a shit. And neither did she. I am who I am. And there's nothing in the world that will ever change that. I'm me. I'm self-centered. I'm lazy. I love having fun. I'm tough. I'm a dog. But I'm a dog with unconditional love for a cat. And so, you know, I'm saying that like I don't. I don't really can't care.